Well, hello everyone, I'm Jenny from bu for you Gaming, and today we are back in Cozy Grove for the second time today. Yep, yeah, 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 because here yeah, there's so much to do, so much to do each day now. So there we go, got the sword as you can see. Uh, this is what I was talking about, I had started accumulating these, but of course now some of them went into the quests. Um, and then of course I have some of the other ones. I don't know how many I'm ever gonna need, but I'm just gonna work on, you know, filling these stacks up. But that's because that way I always have one of each rarity and the same here. Um, I think we're gonna turn these into pigment, potentially, because that way we can build up a supply of that as well. I only have 31. Uh, we can also get some money from it, of course, but I'm trying to switch things around a little bit. So, let's just get going up in this direction here. And let's grab these. Oh, you have something. All right, because we finished the pickaxe the other day and whatever ever, whatever other quest you had. So uh, you might actually have a new quest for us today. Listen, I'm a laid back bear, but being in charge of camp safety and seeing you swing a machete half your size. Well, it sets me a bit on edge. It's not my job to stop you from chopping, but I've been thinking, if you're going to have a blade like that, we might as well make sure it's a high quality blade. Those pages you found have a recipe for a fortified machete. Here's the list, Camber. You know what to do. Oh, okay, so we need three silver ingots. Uh, we need 20 softwood. Wow, do I only have six left? Um, and then, of course, our wooden machete. Okay, well, we can potentially make more. Uh, oh, good thing I got a mushroom because I do see someone up here who wants a mushroom. And we better do that because sometimes they despawn once you have... Um, if you lock off without feeding these guys. So let's just get that done right away because I would love it if I could get an imbescence. Uh, there we go. Got a heart pop up. And I got an achievement. Imp welfare. Awesome. And of course, I didn't get a basic one. That's typical. <laughs> I got a joyous one. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. But okay, fair enough. Let's put you back in there. Um, hmm. So let's have a quick little look. See, uh, in here. Yeah, I only have six, but I do have some branches. Let's see how many we can make. Let's see how many we can make out of that. Oh, look at all these leaves over here. Let's uh, let's try and see if we can deal with you. Lovely. How far off am I from breaking this? Ah, 22. That's a long way. Okay. Because it would be nice to get, you know, the, the basic essence that it's going to drop. Uh, before we actually finish that quest, come to think about it. Because we don't have... This is an upgraded, this is an upgraded, and this uh, this will soon be an upgraded. Um, technically, I should probably try to get... But then I have to wait three days. I really don't want to wait three days to finish this, but I almost might consider it just to, in the hopes that I'll get a basic imp essence. It's just a little bit silly that it's so hard to get those basic imp essences. Uh, but this would be the way that we can get them when these break. But I don't think there's a guarantee we get that because I think we can also get bird essences or something from them. Uh, or deer essences. They'll just be basic. But um, Okay, so I can make... Oh, I can make three. That is not really enough. That's typical. I get a quest for this when we... When I just turned all of it into something to sell the other day, right? Um, okay, we get 1,000 old coins for feeding 25 imps. Lovely. More monies. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't take too long for us to get some more... Uh, some more... Uh, branches, right? So... Um, yep, yep, yep. Well, now we can also make more of these. Yes. Okay, well, let's see. No, you're still cold, so... I gotta go up here. Grab this. Oh, we got a potato. Lovely, because they're actually harder to come by than the soft or the uh, the sweet potatoes. Aesthetically speaking, I can't deny that my branches are growing a little long. Perhaps I can use some of my old skills to trim them. If only I had some carving tools. Ew. Uh, help Jeremy Gruffle and you'll get this in return. You may have to help mul multiple times and wait several days, so be patient. 
Uh, okay, well, he doesn't really seem to have anything for us today, so that's just something we're going to have to work on. Um, I would like to recycle these. Yep. Yep, yep, recycle all. Sounds great. Here you go. Gives us some pigment. And now I'm kind of thinking if I... As I think we can, if I want to recycle this... Yeah, I can recycle it into softwood and I actually have more of these. We have, these can be recycled to branches. We have nine, so we need 11 and we get two for each of these. So if I recycle six of these, then I have enough. And we have actually a lot of hardwood because I haven't really used any of that. So let's do that. Um, yep. <laughs> um, even though that kind of, you know what? I think we might just recycle that stack right there. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And let's put you there. Cool, cool, cool. Lovely. Uh, oh, I also have uh, these now. So let's just get you away. Which, of course, defeats this idea I had with trying to... F mm. Well, we're going to need it either way. But how long would it take for me? It would probably take me several days to wear this down. I'm not really... Well, you know what? I don't think it's worth it to wait. I know we can maybe get a basic imp essence from it. But you know what? I don't care. If the birds don't get any money or any food, they just don't get any food. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> because that um, missing bas basic imp essence is really, uh, really, really a nuisance. And it's probably going to be a while before we get a new update. Because we just had... The update the other day so now they have to do a whole bunch of bunch of beta testing before we get one again um so let's not bother too much with that uh, recycle and i think eventually it does give us 44 softwood but i use that much more than i used the hardwood so there we go um awesome and you can turn the softwood into hardwood over at jeremy's mm -hmm. So lots and lots of ways to uh, to deal with this. It's actually only the essences that are the problem because as some people, as quite a few people have suggested in the Discord, it would be really really handy if you could recycle the higher tier essences, right? Even I even suggested that we could do it at a cost because right now it costs twenty five, as we saw in the last video, to make a happy essence out of a basic essence. But even if you could recycle it and you only got 20 basic essences back from a happy one, it would still be worth it when you're stuck in this situation that you can't get the basic ones. I would still do it just to get some so I can actually feed my birds or cook whatever I need at over at Allison's, right? Uh, so I really, really hope they're going to consider that because with, with most other things you can do this. You can kind of re turn things around so you can turn branches into softwood and softwood back into branches and stuff. Uh, which is really really handy oh we see we have a little uh, flame on this now oh achievement unlocked conversationalist nice well that's everything burn it all together run the blade through the smoke there that's a high quality machete you know back when i was a cop all i had was a pocket knife i needed to go through a blade safety course to use it and here i just handed you a razor sharp cutting machine Please don't make me regret it. <laughs> That's a pretty good point, actually. There we go. We got a metal machete, which now has a 150 durability. And that means we can get even more um, greens now, I think, because we can uh, cut down the tough ones. Very nice. Uh -huh. And we want 2,000 gold coins for completing 50 story quests. Huh? Awesome. Very, very nice. Uh, okay, but we had like a little flame here. So the question is which way we need to go. Uh huh? Oh, and we have two broken hearted today. Not even sure I want to try and bother with it. Because I could see other people were also reporting in the Discord after the update that this is... Uh, completely broken. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Oh, this is actually a rare, a rare one. And we have already donated it. So I can burn it. Let's see how many ash ashes we get. This is what exactly what I was hoping. That maybe we could get lucky. 
But I could also have gotten one that I would rather turn in as a reward, but you never really know. Why did I put it in there? That's because I actually wanted to do something else. I wanted to put this into my inventory. Uh, yeah, look at that. We get four relic ashes instead of just one. So nice. Nice. Sounds great. Here you go. Uh -huh. Which means we now have five because I do have one in my inventory. Yeah, we have one right there. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Uh, let's see. You, I do kind of want to keep. Mm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And then all these we want to sell. Because now I think I'm going to do that trick. Because otherwise I have to wait till tomorrow. And I don't really want to do that. I just want to finish this quest off so we can kind of make some progress. And to me it's more worth more to do that than to save what little money. Uh, and keep it until we can save up for the shop upgrade. Uh, but other pe other players might completely want to prioritize differently, right? So let's see if this works. I would like to sell you. You can see, see now we can sell it again for the second time for an, a Relic Ash. So let's do that. Uh, here you go. Nice. So now we should have six. Let's see if you let me... I want to buy something. Um, well, I could buy any of the other ones, but see, now it's back in here, so we can buy it back for the same price as we originally paid for it. It's cost us a little bit of quartz gemstones. Um, there was none of these that I really wanted to get right. We could get another one of these, but dislikes birds. Um, fruit tree lamp, natural decor. Just because we could use more birds. But I think I'm going to wait. I hope I'm going to get a purple one that actually fits or suits our camp up here. Um, and I would like to get a yellow one. Uh, or another yellow one, I think. And another blue one. But they have to have some things that actually fit with this area we have up here. Uh, so eventually we can have all the birds up here. I think that's going to be the plan. But for right now, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to buy you. Sounds great. Purchased. And I could actually just buy one of the other ones. It doesn't really matter. Instead of reselling the same one. Uh, there we go. So now we have two. And then I would like to sell these two. That gives me two relic ashes. And then I would like some monies from all these. Uh... There we go. So we get 192 old coins and two relic ashes. So all. Sounds great. Lovely. And now this quest is actually done. And we still have 30,000. So I'm fine with it. That's a long way up to 400,000. But that's okay. Uh, so let's go over to Jeremy. And do this. Everything I asked for in exactly the right amount. Good work. Fortifying a dowsing rod requires precision and patience. This might take me a while. And, oh, whoops, never mind, it's all done. With this, we can draw deeper memories out of the ground. That should help you with your crafting and help me get to the bottom of my ghost ghostliness. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, we are getting a new, no new one, metal dowsing rod. Mm-hmm. Okay, and some coins. So let's just run around and gra grab all those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. I was also curious to see if he was going to give us uh, this, but he didn't. Can I actually move these around? No. No, they only move over there if you um, if you run out of space here. So now I'm curious if we actually can... Uh, oh, I noticed something. I did it say here two hold in hand. Oh, okay. So if I press two, I can hold that in my hand. What if I want to hold one of the other ones? It doesn't. Oh, okay. So if you ever want to put this into your hand, you can just press two or what? Ah, I guess that's because you use that a lot, but you can't really do it for the other ones. Well, you can with the fishing rod. Oh, I guess that's because these ones are used by default, right? When you want to harvest that specific resource. But if you want to fish, fish, a uh, switch to the fishing rod, you can actually just press one. That's kind of handy. I can't unequip it by pressing one though, but then I can press two to switch to this. And now I'm curious, yes, because it is a better one, but I wasn't sure since we already found one of the relics with the poor version one. 
if it would work but uh, this should actually let us find at least one more relic i don't know if it, how many you can find a day but um at least two relics with this one but today we can probably only find one more because we already found one right um there we go okay so far so good uh, we didn't get any uh, logs for that mm -hmm. okay so i think we're gonna try and go up here and talk to valentina yep there we go okay so does that mean i can't get this lit today because francesca doesn't seem to have yeah, that's going to be a while. So this is the example I was talking about, which could be the reason why you would want to. Is that me? Did I place this here? Oh, okay. Let's grab it. But that could be the reason why you would want to bring all the lamps over there, because now it might take us several days before we actually get lights. And that means I won't be able to harvest my bushes and my bushes should actually be ready to be harvested soon. I think they can be harvested every three days or something. And I haven't actually harvested them, harvest them until, well, I think it's maybe two or three days since I did that. Um, so I am kind of thinking maybe we should try and rearrange this now. Uh, because I think I'm kind of taking the long way around and okay, so this area is already kind of lit up when you have Jeremy, right? So there we go. It doesn't really light up the edge here, but that's not really a priority. There's not really anything here You might have areas. I haven't really looked into that. This one I can't get right. That's not one. Oh, it was one. It was one, right? Okay uh, I think that was all my lamps and then of course you I Technically, I don't need here because I only placed it again last night so that we could light the other ones up, right? There we go. Uh, and they all still have all uh, they're all maxed out, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing really here. There's no like fruit trees or anything in this area that I want to light up. Otherwise, there could be a reason to light up a little area if so that you can always see when that something is ready to be harvested without being dependent on these guys right uh, but anyway let's see if we can figure out exactly where we would want this to go okay so this is kind of the edge we're going for it might be easier to go from here and then go across so you can see we have these but it's really really hard to do this because i can't be absolutely sure i have the distance right if i go this way because right now they're not like lit up so uh, but if we just kind of cross up over here this is where we would want the lamps to go, and then maybe in front of this. Hmm. Uh, okay, so since this area is not lit, it might actually be a good idea to leave that here still. <laughs> I keep changing my mind. But, uh, decoration lamp, natural decor, common. Hmm, I think this one maybe fits in better. Uh, <laughs> Other, well, it doesn't really matter. Eventually, I would probably change them. Uh, but that means we are kind of lit up to around here, right? Place here. Like in the late ga later game, you might have enough of, so you can use the same one. I like, I kind of like this one actually, which we can craft, but I don't really want to spend too many resources on crafting more of them. Um, but that uh, I like the look of this. It makes sense as something you would find out here in the middle of nowhere, right? Uh, compared to, for instance, that... What was it called? Well, the street lamp is one example. Um, okay, so here the tricky part is that so right now her area is lit up and Jeremy's. So I'm not quite sure if this actually reaches it. It's a bit of a thing to do this when... When you... Um, when nothing is lit up, I think, in the morning, but we're just going to do it and then we can always correct them later. One, if I remember to check that out one morning and see if they actually reach, reach each other without um, these two, right? So here we have like a little gap there. So probably have to be around here without light. So there we go. Hopefully that came from this one and then we can go over here somewhere. And then put you here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so now we're there. And let's see how far up do I need to go. 
Okay, so the, that one is right over here. So it's kind of at this level, more or less. Yep, so I kind of want to bring you up a little further. So around here. Mm hmm. Oh, no. And this. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Just kind of try and go a little bit like this. So we go up a little bit and then focus on moving over in this direction. So did I, did I get... Yes, we got it close enough, so now you are lit up. Look at that. Okay, so we have a tree here, which actually didn't really like. Okay, so this likes spooky decor. Mm -hmm. But it likes lamps and cozy decor, which means we are not going to want to have you right here. Because that's spooky decor. Okay, so it has a little bit there, so I think we're going to switch one of them around. Um, let's, for instance, take you, pick up, and then we're just going to put uh, the gothic one down here because it doesn't really touch anything. And then instead we're going to put um, this one up here, which impacts the tree. So now we are a little bit up there. Okay, that gave us a little bit, so it's a walnut tree. Uh, but that means I might actually want to put some extra decor around this at some point so that we have full tree leaves, right? Uh, what else did you like? You like cozy decor. Do I have any extra? Because then I could try and decorate that a little bit. It might get moved around when Francesca's decor changes um, every day, right? But uh, it shouldn't get moved around too much. Um, let's see. Put stuff in my storage because I did put some stuff down here. Uh, but we mostly have the rustic, I think. We do have a couple of... Oh, we could use these now. And since I am working on this, and these are... They are rustic, rustic lamps. Uh, I was kind of keeping them for this, but the, once we get more birds and we need them, we can always um, craft something or use these, right? Then we have these ones, which are rustic. You are spooky. Definitely don't want that. We have fun decor. We have natural decor. Okay, so I don't really have any extra cozy left. Okay, well, that's something to work on, but here we go. Let's follow our little line of of stuff here. Um, but that means I'm going to want to put an extra lamp somewhere around here. And okay, so this is Jeremy's area, right? Okay, so it's actually pretty far away. I thought it was a little bit closer to Francesca, but I don't think her decor is going to impact this little area that much. And Jeremy's won't either, because that's mainly in this area, right? So I think my lamps are pretty safe up here. Um, but that means... Let's see, I feel like I had a place around here. Yeah, right here there's no, no uh, lights over here, so let's put a lamp there. That should impact our tree as well as kind of this area. They're lovely. Uh huh. Didn't quite bring us to two. I think I'm gonna get some more cozy decor and put around here because that will look nicer. So let's just leave you for now and then we're gonna keep bringing this over. We're getting pretty close. We only need a couple more lamps actually. If we put you around here. Nice. We actually get, got a couple of these. See, I think we just need two. Then we can maybe reach that. And then we're going to see later if everything is probably connected when these two are not lit up. But I don't think I have enough to craft more of these. Common log cabin length. Did I have any cozy stuff I can craft? Rustic decor, rustic decor, rustic. Rustic, rustic, rustic. rustic. Uh, natural, not really what I want. Oh, cozy, but mm, that's pretty expensive. Bustling, bustling. Natural. That's rustic. Oh, cozy. But that is enormous. I could easily do it, but it just takes up so much play space. I don't think I want that over there. Um, it's not a high enough priority because we do have walnut trees in our base as well, so... Shouldn't be too bad to keep our walnut supply going, right? 
Um, okay, but we can make these. So common log cabin lamp takes softwood. So good thing I made these earlier. And you know what? I think we're just gonna make all four of them because then we have some extra ones we can use at the base or whatever. We can switch some of these ar around potentially um, at some point. So here we go. Let's ooh, get up here. And then we are gonna put you ooh, somewhere over here. Oh, we have them right here. So place. Nice. Oh, we're getting more monies. Because areas are getting lit up. Oh, it seems like it's these places where, where there's something that's living that actually gives us um, some light. Or give us some coins, right? Okay, so here we can place you. Which is going to spread to this one. Oh, look at that. We're getting more coins. And kind of spread all the way around down here. Look at that. Okay, so now we have light here. Now the question is if we can still gonna have light here in the morning. Uh, okay, I don't think I have this recipe yet. Well, I don't have this recipe yet. So that looks like mushrooms on a on a spike, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be interesting once uh, these guys don't have lights at their areas to see if I have placed it. The lamps as they should but hopefully tomorrow we should get some new flowers on our bushes because i think that's about the time we need to harvest them again so anyway now that is sorted out finally uh, ooh, let's grab you yep and now of course we have a new assortment of these spawning in uh -huh. okay so what are we doing actually okay we had that uh, i wanted to go i think i was on my way to talk to valentina and then i got distracted <laughs> Oh man, that is just typical, typical me. Okay, yep, let's grab this. Let's remember to grab the other one as well while we are up here. So we can keep our supply of oils going up, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. And just like that. And I should actually start kind of noticing these things because there is a... I do believe there is a tree somewhere. I don't remember if it's here or if it's over here by Patrice. Patrice, maybe it's over here. We harvested it just the other day. I think maybe even yesterday. I think maybe it was over here somewhere. There was a tree um, that maybe we would want to have lit up permanently so we can easily see if there's new fruit for it, right? Uh, on it. New fruit on it if it's ripe and ready to be harvested. Uh, it's so cold. Yep. Okay. Can I help you with something? As mayor, I intend to make Cozy Grove the eco-friendliest town in the world. That's why I've decided to only fund public art made with renewable materials. As for acquiring those materials, well, that's where you come in, my faithful assistant. Cool. Okay, so we need to find four presents. That are, one, first one is close to a giant clamshell. Open suitcase. Interesting. I think I spotted it near a skull tied to a stake. That sounds like the beach, beach as well. And it's one we need to fire to, uh, or complete today. There's actually one right here. So we found the first one already. That's cool. I saw a coin down here rotating. Yep. Don't want to miss out on that. Very nice. Aha. Um, okay. Well, let's just head down here. Uh, but it's interesting that you can actually get uh, like a bird asking for something you can't make yet. I'm pretty sure we don't have that recipe. I haven't seen it at the uh, over at Allison's. Nice. Okay. Maybe I lost it by an old dingy barrel. Okay. Well, let's have a little look. If there's anything else at the beach here. Yeah, there's one right over here. That's the old dingy barrel. Go exploring. Look by a boat. So that would be over here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, it's right here. Lovely. Well, it doesn't have to be uh, because we also have some of these actually on the rest of the map. So it doesn't have to be on the beach, but the beach is often a good one when it comes to those skulls, right? Um, hmm. Okay, let's try and go this way. Do -do -do. Oh, right here. See, we have them right here. Yeah, there was the suitcase. Awesome. And that was all of them. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. 
Very nice. Okay, well, we are completely out of time for this episode, guys. So we are going to have to hand that in in the next one. And then we still have folks to talk to. Wow. Yeah, this game is keeping us busy. And we have a new person that we also have to go and find later. Um, so uh, so that's it for, for now, right, guys? So thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.